हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेटेस्ट कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर सेवन मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस इन द लास्ट थ्री पार्ट्स वी लर्न फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स दिस इज आवर फोर्थ पार्ट लेटेस्ट स्टार्ट विद केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स see this chemical properties of non metal so first chemical property of non metals is electronic configuration most of the non metals have 4 to 7 electrons in their valence shells if you remember the electronic configuration of metals have 1 uh, to 3 between 1 to 3 electrons in their outermost shells for non metals usually in between Four to seven electrons in the valence shell or outermost shell of the atom. Here are the few examples. These are the examples of non-metals. Okay, nitrogen is n. N is the symbol of nitrogen, right? So it has atomic number seven. Just count, children. Seven electrons. So that is total number of electrons present in the nitrogen are seven. so its electronic configuration is 2 in the first shell 2 2 and 5 last shell 5 electrons here 5 electrons in the valence shell and this 5 5 electrons means it is in between 4 to 7 okay next example is oxygen see look at here oxygen it has 8 electrons in uh, in the atom so its electronic configuration is see in the chart uh, this table 2 uh, and 6 so here 6 electron in the outermost shell next example is chlorine chlorine cl is the uh, chlorine is denoted as a cl so chlorine has how many electrons 17 electrons in its atom so we write its electronic configuration is 2 8 and 7 because there are Two electrons in the first shell, right? And then eight electrons in the second shell, and seven electrons in the outermost shell. So, if you will observe non-metals, there are four to seven electrons in their valence shell. Okay. Next, next property is anion formation or ion formation. Okay. See formation of ions. If you remember for metals. non metals first of all non metals have a tendency to accept electrons in their valence shell to form negative charge ions called anions if you remember for metals metals usually give up the electron therefore because of electrons are lost the negative charge were lost and the ion uh, ion form that is positive charge that is cation we learn this but in case of non metals they accept electron right they try to understand children but in case of non metals what happens they accept electron from outside so because they accept electron in other words they accept the negative charge electron and it becomes negatively charged completely so minus charge means negative charge ion called as and and so here are the few examples of non metals forming the respective ions or anions the first example is of chlorine chlorine how cl is the uh, uh, symbol of chlorine so chlorine has the electronic configuration is 2 look at uh, this, see this figure uh, this diagram 2 8 And seven count in the last shell of chlorine that that is valence shell has just seven electrons and to form a octet that is eight octet means eight electrons it require one electron so it will acquire this one electron because it requires just one electron it will have just one negative sign so this is the chlorine chlorine anion. See in this diagram, chlorine anion is formed. After taking one electron, its electronic configuration become two, eight, and eight. Count children. 
the next example is first of all count the next example is oxygen o is the symbol of oxygen okay so oxygen has the electronic configuration 2 and 6 now 6 is the short uh, so in the for 6 uh, is the short of two electrons to complete octet so the oxygen will acquire this two electrons from outside and because it requires two electron it will have two negative it will acquire two electrons and then it will have two negative charges and uh, now now what happens now the electronic configuration become 2 and 8 okay the last example is nitrogen n is the symbol of nitrogen n has electronic configuration is 2 and 5 right so 8 octet 8 means octet to complete octet 8 minus 5 gives 3 so nitrogen need 3 electrons to complete octet and also to complete its final shell last shell and once it complete final shell it will be more stable therefore it takes three electrons and therefore we get nitrogen with three negative charges and now the electronic configuration of nitrogen become 2 and 8 okay children now let us see the reaction of non metals with oxygen non metals combine with oxygen to form their oxides okay here non metals plus oxygen giving non metals oxide see in this similarly with the reaction of metals with oxygen gives their met, uh, their respective metal oxides the oxides of non metals are acidic in nature and this is uh, where this is where oxides of non metals differ from the oxides of metals we learn oxides of metals because the oxides of metals were basic in nature but here the oxides of non metals are acidic in nature they react with base to form means acids react with base to form soluble salt and water so whenever an acid react with the base it forms soluble salt and water you understood this because those metal oxides are basic in nature but here since the oxides of non metals are acidic in nature we react this acids with the base to form salt and water see the few examples carbon c c is the symbol of carbon which is non metal right so it reacts with oxygen o2 to form carbon dioxide co2 so see that this reaction you can see in the picture c c plus o2 c is the carbon when it will react with oxygen o2 it will give co2 carbon dioxide will form carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is the non metal oxide okay this same carbon dioxide on reaction with sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide naoh this is sodium hydroxide which is a base okay carbon dioxide is acid CO two is the acid react with sodium hydroxide NaOH which is base gives us see this reaction what it gives gives us sodium carbonate Na two CO three which is salt plus water we get water water H two O okay the oxides of non metals react with water to form an acid. so here are the few examples of oxides of non metals and on reaction with water they gives us different types of acids let us see these examples first example is co2 when react with is the oxide of carbon okay co2 is the oxide of carbon and co2 on reaction with h2o you can see in this co2 plus h2o means co2 on reaction with h2o gives us carbonic acid h2co3 which is carbonic acid then next one sulfur dioxide so2 is the oxide of sulfur this react on this react with water gives us 
sulfurous acid as 2SO3 then another this SO3 uh, SO3 another oxide of the sulfur SO3 the SO2 is the sulfur dioxide SO3 is the another oxide of sulfur when react with water it will gives us sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 so different oxides of non metals when they react with water and they gives us different acids like carbonic acid sulfurous acid sulfuric acid depend on the oxides of um, acid, depends on this contain what reaction what reaction co2 it's react with water sulfur dioxide so3 when reacts with water they will give their respective acids gives different acids non metals do not react with dilute acids see this non metals do not react with dilute acid so this is different this is different when we compared with metals because if you remember last time we learn in the last part when we have done the experiment of taking the acyl acid in the test tube and adding zinc dust to it we observed that a salt and hydrogen gas was produced so there is a reaction that takes place between metals and dilute acid but this reaction does not take place with non metals see the, see look at uh, look at look at this non metals plus acid no reaction when sulfur is added into sulfuric uh, hydrochloric acid hcl s is the symbol of sulfur when it is added in the hydrochloric acid that is the hcl no reaction you can't see any reaction so there is no uh, reaction shows uh, this one non metals do not react with dilute acid our next topic is uses of metals and non metals in that noble metal some metals like gold silver platinum palladium and rhodium are noble metals so these are some examples of noble metals so what are these they occur in nature in the elemental state means these noble metals are freely available in nature gold which is 100% pure is called 24 karat gold you must have heard about gold being term as karat gold so what is this means it means that when gold is 100% gold when there is no other metal mixed with the gold then it is term as 24 karat gold but this pure gold is soft as a result the ornaments made from pure gold bend or break due to pressure ornaments or jewelry made from gold which you must have noticed that very hard but 24 karat gold means pure gold only one metal gold is there is very soft that can easily bend suppose if you made 24 karat bangle it will bend very easily and that circular bangle can change into square shape therefore goldsmith mix it with a certain proportion of copper or silver now they add some other metals like copper and silver into this 24 karat gold and that makes it less pure ornaments are made from 22 karat gold or gold with still smaller karat value so the maximum value of karat gold that a jewelry is made is of 20 Two karat gold, because this gold has copper and silver as the impurities in it, and this is what gives it hard shape. Uses now next is uses of noble metal. See, gold, silver, platinum are used to prepare ornaments. ornaments or jewelry are made from usually made from either gold or silver otherwise uh, platinum so uh, next use is silver used in medicines it has antibacterial property some medicines contain silver very less amount of silver it kills bacteria from body because it has antibacterial property whatever bacterial infection in the body silver kills that bacterial infection next use is 
gold and silver also used to make medals you must have heard olympic gold medals olympic silver medals or olympic bronze medals therefore gold and silver used to make medals gold and silver also used to make few electronic devices since gold and silver are metals they are a good conductor of electricity therefore they can be used in electronic devices platinum palladium metals are used as catalyst you will tell what is catalyst so when scientists are doing experiment different experiments they use catalyst catalyst basically speed up the reaction because some reaction can take more days or many days and many months so to speed up the reaction there uh, something catalyst used for different reaction different catalyst used platinum and palladium metals can act as a certain catalyst for certain type of reaction let us see about purity of gold when we ask rate of gold in gold shop it always differ isn't it why is it because gold is a noble metal in nature it occurs in elemental form so whenever you must have gone to gold shop give different price or rate to the gold um, to sell the gold why this all these shops give different different values of gold it because their purity their purity differs in different shop means 100% pure gold is most expensive because it is pure gold pure gold is soft therefore gold ornaments prepared by pure gold may break or bend due to pressure so because pure gold is soft you understood this it is very important to add copper or silver in it so you can make it hard and easily you can make uh, beautiful ornaments you can give any kind of shape and that can retain it shape for more days hence goldsmith add specific amount of copper or silver in pure gold to prepare ornament of 22 carat gold okay usually to prepare ornament 22 Uh, means usually many gold uh, shops uh, they use to prepare ornament 22 carat gold because it is harder than 24 carat gold so here is the table given first for that is for reference see the 24 carat gold is 100% gold right pure that means it only contain gold in it no other metal but 22 carat gold is 91.66% pure it means that 91.66% is gold and the rest amount almost uh, around 8.5% would be of other metal it's like uh, either copper or silver similarly 18 carat gold is 75% gold and 14 carat gold is 58.33% gold 12 carat gold is 50% gold and 10 carat gold is 41.66% you understood the rest is copper or silver let us study now about corrosion gases in the air react with metals in the presence of moisture to form metal compounds so our air around us contains several gases and along with the gases it also contains very tiny water droplets so this is called as moisture so when all these ga gases uh, all these metals react with uh, moisture they all get affected by it because a chemical reaction takes place between the gases moisture and the surface of the metals the metals get affected by this process and undergo what is called as corrosion you must have noticed the grills of your window these are made up of iron usually and uh, if you notice carefully you will observe that it has become a little reddish in color in certain areas 
so this reddish color is nothing but corrosion occur on the iron surface a reddish color deposit is formed on iron by reaction with oxygen gas so this corrosion that we see on iron that is because iron reacting with oxygen gas present in air a greenish color deposit is formed on copper by reaction with carbon dioxide gas like similar with iron reacting with oxygen copper react with carbon dioxide to form a greenish color deposit iron usually forms a reddish color deposit and copper forms a greenish color deposit now a blackish color deposit is formed on silver silver by reaction with hydrogen sulfide gas you must have seen a silver jewelry or coins becoming black after while it's because of the silver reacting with hydrogen sulfide gas to prevent corrosion of metal layers of oil or grease or varnish are applied on them therefore it is very important to paint the grills of our window with oil grease and varnish and also with paint also painting a plating with another non corroding metal is done so what is non corroding metal so it is a metal which does not react with air around us and does not get corroded therefore if you cover a metal that gets corroded with a metal that does not get corroded you can prevent the corrosion occurring on that metal because now it does not come in direct contact of air and moisture around us iron is arresting arrested by zinc plating so in this iron is arrested by zinc plating so in this the iron metal is covered with the layer of zinc and zinc will uh, prevent the iron getting corroded due to the this process the content of the metal surface with air is lost and corrosion cannot occur as the chemical reaction cannot occur so when the metal surface and air does not be in contact with each other no chemical reaction can occur and therefore corrosion can be prevented do you know children there is a statue of liberty in the sea near new york city in america the original surface of their statue was made of copper but now it looks green this is because green color copper carbonate has been formed by reaction of copper with the carbon dioxide and moisture in the air this is an example of corrosion alloys what is an alloy a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a homogeneous uh, mixture of metals with non metals is called alloy so a homogeneous mixture means it completely mixed with each other there are no layers present after mixing so when you mix different types of metals or more or uh, when you mix metals or non metals together it will form something called as an alloy alloy are made by mixing the constituent element in as per the requirement so when you make an alloy uh, specific alloy only has to has a specific quantity of every metal for example stainless steel utensil used at home uh, are made of an alloy of iron with carbon chromium and nickel so all the vessels in our kitchen especially the uh, stainless steel ones there are alloy there is no element in our periodic table called as stainless steel right this metal is produced by mixing metals together so stainless steel is made by mixing iron with carbon chromium and nickel so a certain quantity of iron carbon chromium are mixed together to form stainless steel the alloy bronze which one bronze is formed by, from copper and tin so in order to make bronze we have to mix copper and tin together do you know children there is an iron pillar in the premises of kutub kutub minar in delhi made about 1500 years ago the pillar is lustrous even after so many years 
this is because our ancestors had made it from an alloy means which alloy it contains small proportion of carbon silicon and phosphorus mixed and mixed in iron with iron which uh, contains are there carbon silicon and phosphorus do you know children a cheap variety of stainless steel is made sometimes by using copper instead of costly nickel you might have seen the vertical cracks in stainless steel vessels the reason is as above mix this copper instead of costly nickel so in this chapter we learn more about metals and non metals i hope all of you understood this lesson thank you children